Here's a multiple choice question for you relating distance, speed and time. I'd like you to read the question, pause the video, solve and then look into the suggestion. Topic here is average distance. I walk to the park at an average speed of 4 kilometers per hour and return jogging at an average speed of 6 kilometers per hour. Find the total distance in kilometers traveled by me if this traveling time was an hour. So what we are given here is total time of travel which is an hour. Walking speed towards the park is 4 and return is 6 kilometers an hour. We need to find total distance. That means distance for going to the park and returning. That is the total distance. So I like you to do your calculations, pause the video and then look into my solution okay here is my solution let us say that the distance between the two points is x so what we are assuming here is x is the distance between o and p where p is the park right time taken to go is what let's say time one to go is distance divided by speed of four kilometers per hour and time to return is how much? Same distance and the return speed is 6. Total time is? Total time is 1 hour which is sum of these two. So we can say x over 4 plus x over 6 is equal to 1, right? Now we can simplify this. Let's take common denominator. So common denominator is 24 and we get 6 times x plus 4 times x equals to 1 that is 10x right so we can say x is equals to cross multiply 24 over 10 that gives us an answer which is 2 4 over 10 right 4 over 10 2 right now remember the question here is total distance right find total distance total distance means going and returning both that means 2 times x right so let's find what is 2 times x let me write here as 2 times x is equals to let me rewrite this as 48 over 10 okay so that gives us 4 8 over 10 and that is 4 and let's simplify this because we do have 4 here 8 over 10 we can divide both by 2 getting 4 over 5 so the answer is C correct so that is how this problem is to be solved I stopped here because I've seen students making a mistake at this stage once they write x is equals to 2 4 over 10 then they could have simplified this as 2 over 5 which is B and got that answer which is a wrong answer second is we are interested in 2 times x. It is always better to multiply this first by 2 and then simplify. In case you do land into 2, 2 over 5 and you multiply this by 2, you are not really very sure of whether you should multiply the numerator also by 2 or not. So that point is well taken care of at this stage. Do you see that? So this is far better approach. right? And that's how you get your answer, right? So the total distance is 2x, not just x. And therefore, we get C as our answer. I hope that's absolutely clear to you. Thank you and all the best.